And the name of your last school? John A. McDonald Intermediate. It was a good school. Liz. Oh, Doris, can I make an announcement for the student council? Stephanie, can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Now, are you going to behave? Mom, didn't you see out there? Everyone's a preppy. We have been through this before. I know that starting at a new school isn't easy. Ever pull a stunt like but you that promised again. to give Degrassi a fair shot. Is that clear, Mr. Jeremiah? Yes, sir. Won't happen again, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Joey, this is Liz O'Rourke. She's joining your class. Maybe you could show her to Mr. Radich's room? Yeah, sure. Joey Jeremiah, chairman of the welcoming committee, at your service. This way? You know, you were lucky I was visiting my good friend, Mr. Lawrence. You happened to be talking to the number one cool dude here at Degrassi. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, wanna go out? Wake up in the morning, feeling shine on me, I gotta go to the school. I don't think I can make it, don't think I can take it, I wonder what I'm gonna do. But when I look around, I see that someone is smiling right at me. Wait, that someone's talking to me. Hey, I've got a new friend. Everybody can see. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. I can't believe Simon wants to play soccer instead of playing with our band. What a narbo. Hey, it wasn't my idea for him to join the band. What do you guys think of that Liz chick? She's kind of weird. Yeah, she's quiet. She never talks to anyone. She talks to me. Of course, I'm irresistible, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, to germs. <gasps> what a funny guy. <laughs> I think she does it. She looks like she does it. Joey, what's a girl who does it supposed to look like? I don't know. Anyways, I heard stuff, okay, Wheels? What stuff? Stuff. Guys, come back. Do you guys ever think about really having sex? Well. A bit. Yeah, me too. Sometimes. You? Oh man, all the time. Joe, you are sex crazy. No, sick. I'm not. You're sick. Yeah, right. You're a pervert. Good morning, boys and girls. Your principal, Mr. Lawrence. Next week is Safety Week. Constable Lawrence Biley of Metro Police will speak in the Resource Center at lunchtime on Monday. The subject will be street smart, what they mean to you. Attendance is highly recommended. Hi, Arthur. I've been looking for you all over. Uh, I was here. Uh, what's with the book? Uh, nothing. What's with you? You've been acting weird lately. Sit down. Having these kind of weird dreams lately. So? Actually, really weird. Kind of where you wake up and you sort of uh, leak. Oh, you mean a wet dream? Shh. Don't lots of people get them. Once a week? Once a week? Like I'm turning into a sex maniac. I've been thinking a lot about the financial problems of the student council. Uh -huh. I've come up with some great new ideas. Good, good, Alex. That's really nice. But uh, let's talk about it later, OK? I'm busy. I just wanted to show you the one. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Alex. 
Spike? Hi. What are you doing? I'm getting fat. Really? I can't tell. I can. Being pregnant sure changes everything. Yeah? I thought you weren't going to dress like that anymore. I'm going to make Simon notice me if it kills me. Did your mom know? Are you kidding? What are you staring at? I love your hair. You must tell me who doesn't. Or at least I don't get dressed in the washroom so mommy doesn't know how I dress at school. Oh. Good comeback. What a sleaze. I bet she does it. I mean, not like you. You made a mistake, right? I heard something happened where she used to live to do with sex. And that's why she moved here. Why do people who look different always have stories made up about them? I don't know. But I bet it's true. If you ask me, she dresses very provocative. These are the subjects you have to choose from. I'd like you to present the results of your research tomorrow. Aww. It won't be that hard. You have your first class this afternoon and this evening. You're going to be working in pairs. You can choose your own partners. This is going to be an exercise in cooperation. I want you to work together very closely. You're going to be marked not only on your research, but also on how well you work together. Class dismissed. So, how's your plan? Wait and see. This is gonna be good. Joy, one of the lawyers. The phys ed department reminds everyone that only soft-soled shoes are allowed in the gymnasium. Let's Hi. all work to keep that gym floor got free. So, um... Do you want to be partners? Sure. Yeah? Great. I'll meet you in the resource center after lunch then. Okay. All right. Right. I hope this works. Don't worry, it's not moving. It's this Stephanie! This is Later, Alex, please. How's this sound? An art show. What? An art show. Kids will do pictures, right? And we'll put them up. And we'll charge people to come and look. Parents are suckers for that kind of stuff. Beat it, Alex. You shouldn't treat me like that. I'm school treasure. I've got lots more ideas for raising money. Whoops. A car wash, for instance. We'd make a bundle. It's a great idea. I've done it before. This is what we should be doing. It'll work. I'd handle the posters and the advertising. I'm good at marketing. What did I do? Oh, so relax. You need to normally have long wet jeans. What? I said relax. Maybe it's normal to have a lot of wet dreams. How many of you have? None. Wish I had somebody to talk to about this. What about your dad? I can't. I think I'm a pervert. How do you like Degrassi so far? Kids here are so snobby. I can't believe it. They're okay once you get to know them. Maybe. Are you, um, really pregnant? Yeah. Dumb, right? 
I'm never gonna get pregnant. Maybe someday you'll want to. Never. So, where did you live before? Linden. It was great. I have tons of friends there. No one cared how you dressed or how you acted. But I swear, as soon as I'm 16, I'm moving back. I bet you'll like it here by then. Doubt it. Yeah, Will. Take it easy. Yeah, not so fast. You guys are so boring. I guess that's why I'm gonna make it with Liz and you guys aren't. Of course, for me, sex is no big deal. Chicks are like aspirin. I take two and go to bed. Right, Joey. Joey Jeremiah, Mr. All-Time Loser when it comes to girls. That's not true. You're such a liar. I can see it. Liz invites you over to her house. Her parents are out. The lights are dim. Soft music is playing. She leans over and Joey screams, no, no, I'm a virgin. <laughs> ha ha, Mr. Jokes. Face it, Joey. When it comes to girls, you're all talk, no action. Hey, not so fast. Well, the average menstrual cycle is about 28 days. But it can vary from 20 to 35 days. And it can really vary when you're still growing. Attention students. Melanie, where do you get this stuff? Dr. Sally, of course. Who's Dr. Sally? She's got her own radio phone-in show for teens. Talking sex with Sally. Sounds disgusting. Kathleen, you're such a prude. It's great for finding out stuff about sex. When's it on? Can anyone call? It's on tonight. And yeah, anyone can call. Why? Do you have a sexual problem, Yick? No way. It's just a friend. Uh huh. That's what they all say. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got a problem? You know, I don't know about this war of 1812. I still can't figure out who won. I really like your hair. Joey. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how much I liked your hair? <laughs> Joey, come on. Can I help it that I'm dazzled by your beauty? Stop it. No, I'm serious. Joey. <laughs> Um, we didn't really get a lot done. Do you want to meet here after school? We can't. The um, school closes at four. Well, how are we supposed to get this stuff finished, then? We can't go to my place. My grandparents are visiting. It's a total zoo. Well, we can go to my place, I guess. Really? Yeah, my mom works the evening, so it'll be quiet. Okay, sure. Okay. All right. What? Nothing. Your house? Sounds good to me. Bye. Hey guys, am I a dude or what? What? I just got invited over to Liz's after school to study. And you guys thought I was all talk. Joey Jeremiah, super stud, at her service. All, all right. right. Yeah, but I don't want to call Dr. Sally tonight. You've got to. She's only on once a week. I'll call next week. Don't be so chicken. You want to find out. Come on, this is your big chance. Okay, but we call from your place. I want my dad to hear. No way, I don't want my dad to hear you. Well, I guess we can't call them. Come on, I've got an idea. You know that portable radio yet? Good afternoon, student. This is your principal. I'm just gonna ask him straight out if he wants to go out. I don't have to play dumb games anymore. What if he says no? Heather. No, I'm serious. What if he just really likes Alexa? Oh, here he comes. Hi, Simon. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. Listen, I was wondering if you might... Simon, you better hurry up and get changed. Game starts in 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, Steph. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. 
and play a sport. Be one. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the library and look okay. for some books, okay? And then, then I'll look for some books in my library. Right. Okay, I'll okay, see you. Okay, I'll find you. Here's the address. It's not very nice, but we only just moved in. Okay, uh, no problem. I'll see you later. I've got some stuff to do. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Spike. What do you think of Joey? He can be a real jerk sometimes, but he's okay. Yeah? I think he's kind of funny. Sort of nice, too. Spike, I like him. Thanks. Wheels! Wait up, man. Hey, Joey, I thought you were going to Liz's. I am, I am. Remember those condoms you bought last term? Of course. You still got them? I just need one. Don't you remember? We use them all for water bombs. Yeah. Do you want to come buy some with me? Uh, I have to study. Hey, Wheels. When, when you and Steph were almost going to do it, were you a little nervous? I was a lot nervous. I don't want to mess up. Maybe you shouldn't do this, Joey. I've got to. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'm 14. I'm in eighth grade. I haven't even had a real date yet. What if she doesn't want to? The way she dresses, the way she laughs at my jokes, she likes me. And she invited me over, right? It's pretty obvious, man. Is it, Joey? Are you sure you can't come buy some condoms? We're working on a project. Now, Liz, you know I don't like boys here when I'm not around. Mom, it's okay. He's nice. Really. That's all very well, honey, but still. Mom, you gotta trust me. Anyway, it's hard making friends at that dorky school. Well, I'm glad you're starting to make some friends, at least. Sure, everything will be all right. Yes, Mom. Good afternoon, shoppers. Today we have several specials to help you save money. today? Fine. Hmm. I thought these were on special. Special? Yeah, Four ninety nine down from seven ninety nine. Let's find out. Price check. No, 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 no. It's okay. I don't mind paying more. Really. Yeah, boss. Could you give me a price on these? I think they're on sale. I want to pay $7.99. Come on. Won't take a minute. <laughs> yep, $4.99. Aha. Uh -huh. $13.49.
and your receipt. Have a nice day. Communities where we're patent bill. Maybe it's not. Because sex is a serious decision. Please don't ever let sex just happen. There's lots of time to get into sexual intercourse. You don't have you to say do that on everything the radio? there is to do by she the time is you're a... 17 years Come on, phone. Okay, George. She's Let's talking to somebody else. They have yeah, lots of blush. They'll put you on the one call. does not indicate that she is an easy lay. She can be anywhere from punk to preppy. She may even appear... <laughs> Drink? Yeah, like a soda or something. Oh, right. Sure. Nice place you got here. Necessarily better. You so ask. Relax. No way, do it's your just fine when the time comes. What if somebody Thanks recognizes my voice? Who's going to recognize your voice? Right Melanie and them. They listen to the show. The Hi, this is the sex show. I'm on. I'm on. Hello? Do you have a question? Hello? No, I've got a friend who's 12 years old. He gets a lot of wet dreams. Is he a pervert? I'm not a pervert. You're a chicken oh, is what you no, are. Well, you're a broom a pervert. Head. I'm a broom head. Look at this Oh, yeah. Wet dreams are very common for young guys. It's one of the first indications of puberty. So tell your friend he's perfectly okay. He's not a pervert. He's not an animal out of control. Wet dreams are the body's way of relieving sexual tension and sexual pressure. The Canadians were really British. Went and burned down Washington. So the Americans went and burned down Toronto, which was then called York. There were all these battles and lots of people killed. And at the end, the border still stayed the same. And nothing was really different. This is totally dumb. Don't you think? Joey, what is it? Liz, do you want to do it? Do it. Sex. I want it. You want it. Let's do it. Chewy. Come on, Liz. Please. I really want to. Joey. I trusted you. I liked you. I thought you were different. Come on, Liz. Why is it that you guys always think about having sex? Look, I just thought- Don't even try. Don't you touch me, Joey. Don't you ever touch me. Just get out of my house. Joey, I hate you. I'm sorry. Get out of my house, Joey. Don't ever talk to me again, Joey. I'm sorry. do anything. Is she mad? Yeah. Is 
she'll get over it eventually. No, I don't think so. She's really mad. Wheels, you know what's the worst? What? I really like her. <laughs>